it's all burgundy all the time, 24 seven, just living the burgundy life here. Um, so let me go over the first two quickly. Um, the first one is my beautiful Aaron Waite Benty Pullover from Moonstruck Knits, Natasha Hornby. Um, and the stars of this sweater are the sleeves, um, in my opinion. There's cables and all of that along the back raglan edges, but the sleeves are the ones that are going to be incredibly luxurious and textured and um, I think it's going to be amazing when I finish it. I'm very excited about it and uh, seriously, I just, I haven't decided though. There's an option for a crew neck and an option for a turtleneck. So I'm not sure. I think I'm going to wait until I finish the sleeves because with all the cabling, they're going to take a lot of yarn. Um, and then when I'm done with that, um, I want to finish the body because I definitely wanted um, to hit me like at the right spot, the hip. And we'll see what's left over. And then I will decide if I'm doing a crew neck or a turtleneck. But I think either way, it's going to be beautiful. And either way, I'm going to get to wear it a lot here. Um, so that is the first burgundy sweater. The second burgundy sweater um, is my Ola. And I am working on the body right now. I did finish one of the sleeves. Look at that. That is all beautiful lace that is going to expand and bloom when you block it. Um, well, or when I block it, since it's my sweater. Um, so yeah, I absolutely, I'm looking forward to this one. It is in the Buffalo Plaid colorway. And if you guys know me, you know I'm the queen of Buffalo Plaid. I have Buffalo Plaid from head to toe, including underwear. You will never get to see that. It's in sock weight, so it's going to be, I mean, I would say an all season, really, sweater because you can just layer something on top of it um, when it's super cold here. So yeah, this leaf is just stunning and I seriously can't wait to see how it looks like when I block it. Only make stuff you love because... Yeah, you don't get a medal for making things that you kind of like, maybe not, I mean, anyway, so that's the second one, but the one that I have been working on this week is, this one is the Moonset Pullover by Haley at Ozetta, and Right now, it kind of looks like this. And you might be able to see right here. And that is, this is going, this is the back. And this is the V front. And I just went ahead and put it on some waist yarn um, because I'm gonna start on the other side so I'm gonna start on this side of the front so this part and again new to me construction I am I would like to say that I'm learning a lot of new things but who are we kidding I am NOT retaining any of this like once I'm done with this it all just just goes away this is in the barrel aged sour from Allie at Explorer Knits and Fibers and oh my goodness, this is, yeah, I'm really excited about this one as well. Um, this is kind of the more laid back, you know, slouchy v-neck. You can put like a little lace cami under it or not. I think all of these are going to be elegant enough 
to kind of go out, wear them like out, not to the grocery store. Um, these are my grocery store clothes, thank you. Um, but, you know, like go out for drinks, go out with my husband now that the kids are old enough to feed themselves, at least for a couple nights. Um, so yeah, or drinks with friends, that's always fun. I mean, I know Greta's always bringing booze here, but um, we can always go somewhere else to drink, which is fun. Um, what is coming up for me in March? I am seriously debating starting Hohe Locatelli's new sweater, the tea pullover. I saw that picture and um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It is, you know, I think is one of the top five on Ravelry right now. I'm not sure. I haven't checked today. But again, another like novel construction for me. In this one, you work one side and then the other side and then you join them with an I cord. I think that's what I read. And it ends up looking like, you know, you have a braid in the front, a braid in the center back and it almost looks like a spine. It's pretty cool and you can do some pretty interesting things by doing the I cord in different colors. I mean, you could do one side in one color, another in another color. Um, that is probably not something I'm going to do, but if it worked gauge wise, wouldn't it be cool to make it with one of the tones color duos? By the way, Cream City Yarn just restocked all their, they just got their shipment of Brooklyn Tones. They're stocked. And I've been thinking, okay, what could I make with two tones? I was thinking color work. But then I'm thinking, I mean, wouldn't it be neat to have one side of the sweater because you're literally making two separate halves and then uniting them. Wouldn't it be cool to have a sweater that's like, the left side is slightly different than the right side. I think that would be neat. I need to think about it more because like I mentioned, I blew my yarn budget. Um, I think this was the last thing I received. So either mama needs to do, do some like common core math, figure out. <laughs> um, or I don't know, but um, that is something that might be a really cool idea, making Hohe's new sweater in uh, two of the coordinating tones. Um, so I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it also making it with yarn I have from Stash. Um, so I don't know, are you guys making that sweater? Because it just looks like a really cool knit you know, a really cool make. And again, this is a year of different constructions for me that I will never remember. Um, so let me know if you're making that sweater because it looks really cool. Also, my friend Terry suggested the Payday Pullover and it's one that I have in my library and it is a, you know, a pullover and it has beautiful like lace, I believe. Uh, on sort of the last part of the sleeves at the wrist and it looks really cool and I can't wait to see how Terry's uh, payday pullover uh, looks when she's finished with it and I'm also thinking about casting on because obviously I I need more things to work on it's me um, so let me know what you've been making this February what you're thinking of making I mean we're entering allegedly uh, spring. I don't, I don't know. We're in the thirties today, I think here. And that is like, people are walking around in t-shirts. I go drop my kids off at the high school and there's kids walking around in t-shirts and I'm just like, please take my jacket. You're going to be cold, honey. Um, but anyway, so let me know what you're working on, what you're going to work on. And if you have any suggestions of more things that I can make, I would love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.